Hello, and welcome to this very short how-to video on how to fit a DCC decoder into this particular uh, motor. Now, this is to be hardwired as this is originally a DC analog locomotive. It's the Intercity Class 91 um, loco. Now, this is not like the uh, HST locomotive, which I have here. It's slightly different. This is quite an old loco, uh, mo motor. It's a lot easier to do on this one. Now you might notice, I'll place them together there and you might notice a slight difference. Um, as you can see here, you can see some blue tape. Now this is just a temporary measure at the moment, it's a, on a trial. On here, those that tape is covering two screws. Now those screws are con uh, used to conduct electricity from one side of the motor to the other. Now on the old HST model, Ringfield motor, they don't have those, which makes it a little bit easier to hardwire these. Now, I did some searching myself and came across one video by Simon Liverton uh, Central explaining how to do this, and he used plastic nylon screws, which I've been trying to search for, and I was so far unable to find the exact ones that fit this. Um, uh, a chap by the name of Rick in one of the online groups came across the idea well why don't you insulate the actual screw from the contact plate which is my, these are the contact plates that are on this motor I thought oh yeah that might work so that's what I've done although this just at the moment be a temporary measure as you can see what I've done is I've insulated the screw still in but it's making no contact whatsoever with these plates now uh, the motor the screws went this is an out this side of the casing is a plastic casing on that side it's a metal casing and the metal casing on this is used as a pickup from one of the rails in this one being the rail closest to us which is this rail here um, and what happens is the power comes through the, the motor casing and passes through the screw then into the contact plate to give power to that side of the motor uh, on this case, I think, if I'm right, it was this side. It came through on this screw, not on this one, but I've insulated them both just in case anyway. Um, because the other wire, which travelled to the other bogey, the front bogey, that was already connected to that tab. So that will have been the one for the pickup on that side. So what I've had to do, I've insulated the screw so it makes no contact, so no electricity can pass through there to there. As I say, that is only temporary at the moment to see whether this worked, and it has. So I thought I'd do a quick video and show you all about it. Um, so when you're doing this particular type of motor, um, for the life of me, I can't think what it is. I know it's a ring field motor, but I think it's a sort of Mark II or something like that. But please feel free to correct me in the comments below. So to fit a decoder into this I've got an 8 pin decoder here um, the black is connected to the front there and the red which obviously needs to connect to the other rail so both rails are connected I have connected it I can see to the little plate that's on the opposite side which makes contact with the metal casing still so power is being taken through the red so that's both rails connected and then it's just a simple job of uh, connecting the motor wires to the correct side in this case the uh, black is the motor right and the red is the motor left um, so that now does work I'll just show you it's on three and there you go it does work so excuse this track it's not very clean it does work Oops. it does work so that is how this particular model of motor old motor has to be fitted with a decoder do not try and put a decoder on without insulating these two screws or at least that screw i know of for sure do not put a decoder it'll just fry your decoder and these decoders aren't cheap so it's not worth not insulating it just for the sake of uh, 
for the sake of frying your decoder. I have actually fried one when I first did it. I did, I've blown one. Um, not knowing about this, just treating this like the old HST uh, ring field. This one, I treated it exactly like that. I went and fried the decoder, so unfortunately I've lost one there. Uh, but this has now worked um, again. There you go, it does work. Um, if you do get it wrong, you will get an overload, which if you do it too much, yet again, will also fry your decoder. But yeah, that's a quick example of how to DCC and the old motor on a class 91. I hope that helps. Um, feel free to comment, subscribe. Um, I look, if anyone else has had the problems, let us know. Um, I am going to tidy this up a bit before I put it all together and insulate these properly. And I say that's just temporary. So there you go. Uh, so red is the rail right, just so you know. Black is the rail left for the pickups. Orange is your motor right. And grey is your motor left. Exactly as it's shown there. Just remember to insulate those screws. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.